Hello everyone, you with Gecko with another amazing video. Today, we are watching Spyro Reunited Trilogy gameplay. Um, um, the demo gameplay, so it's like a live demo thing. So, I'm really excited for this game. Like I said in the, um, Spyro Reunited Trilogy trailer is, uh, when I said that whenever this game comes out, whenever the game come out, um, I will... Um, start playing the game probably eventually I'll try to get the game because I want to play that game so bad but anyways make sure you guys um, comments down below like the video subscribe and hit that notification button so you won't miss any of my newest videos uh, if you guys new to the channel make sure you guys um, type in rap lizard 1120 I changed my channel, so I well I changed the number of my channel, so yeah, so it's Rap Lizard eleven twenty, and you'll see my logo. But anyways, let's begin. Uh, we are going to cross over now to our demo area. This is a big moment. When we told this guy earlier today he was going to get to play this game, he kind of freaked out in the office. Um, I'm talking about Spyro, and uh, Kyle Bossman is here. Uh, and uh, as we move into the next hour, that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about a lot of other big games. We've got some live demos on set as well. We're almost done with hour four here. But uh, Spyro the Dragon is here, and everyone's favorite little purple dragon has made his fiery debut on the PS1 back in 1998 from Insomniac. And now countless sequels and spin-offs later, he's returning to his roots with a remastered collection of the first three I'm games. <laughs> Joining me is Kyle Bossman as we enjoy a live demo, the first live demo of Spyro Reignited Trilogy with the co-head of uh, the co-head of the studio toys for Bob, Paul Yan. Yeah. Paul, great to see you, Matt. This is exciting because we've seen the trailers. Yeah. Yeah. Now we get to see the real gameplay. And Paul, you were kind enough to let uh, Bossman uh, have some fun Yo. with Spyro. So, uh, you know. Activision had an incredible year last year remastering Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I think everyone was secretly hoping Dude. Spyro was next, and you made those uh, hopes a reality uh, when you announced it. So tell us a bit about Toys for Bob, you know, remastering this classic franchise. First of all, why did, why did you guys want to do this? Because the fans have been in clamor for this. I mean, everyone's been wanting what? to see that ever since, like you said, when uh, came out. Did, Yo, this is awesome. So, um... It was a huge opportunity for us, and this year is really important. This September is the 20th anniversary of his debut on PS1, and yeah. so we're talking about three generations ago. There's a huge opportunity for us to bring some modern sensibilities to this classic gameplay. Yep. This is the golden age of platformers, and it's really lovely. So I can't headbutt the dogs, right? I should not try to headbutt the dogs? Your, your strategy... You told me you're an expert before. I, I, we... <laughs> I, know. I said that to everybody. I know. <laughs> Just so you can play the game. So one thing I wanted to ask about was remastering this, you know, when... Uh, no, BB no went in for Crash, and a lot of people were like, well, you know, how are they going to change the physics? How are, like, it's like, you know, there's a lot that has to go in to remastering a game. It's not just sort of, you know, up again. So yeah. tell us about how, what work did you have to do to sort of, you know, truly remaster this? Because even now, I mean, the visual fidelity, um, I'm really impressed with sort of the... He's just the, getting the crushed, of man. Everything. Tell us, you know, how, did you really build it from the ground up again? We did. Yeah. It's a similar process with Crash. Yeah. The first question we asked was, is there source material? Right. The answer was no. We actually reached out to the Insomniac oh, wow. crew. Okay. And they're not a part of this project or anything, but we did talk yeah. to them, and there was, it was lost. That data was lost in one of their moves. One That's of their funny because Naughty Dog, I remember they actually did have some of the original geometry that they saved for mm. Crash, but so you guys really you just they yeah, did no. off site basically of like we, playing through the game. We had a lot of it was by eye, but we also built yeah. a lot of custom tools. Yeah, that we called Spiroscope. One of our engineers, uh -huh. Steve and nice. Bob, built this. Yeah. And so we put Spyro under a microscope, yeah. and we're actually able to extract a lot of the metrics. So there's really two. Um, goals that we had on the creative side is to embellish on the visuals in a yeah. really new way but on the mechanical side on the design side we want to recreate it to be exactly true and as an homage to that experience so that yeah. all of that muscle memory yeah. in, of your controller it all rushes right back so the tool spiroscope actually was able to extract oh, excuse me the placement the scale the actual um that, the, the vertex information of the levels and we actually did frame analysis on the jump itself as, as well so like at frame three how high is he that's, what's his speed that's amazing you have to do it sort of literally just off the old game disc kyle how does it play uh good yeah 
We have a little bit of like a, like through the TV, we have a little bit of like yeah. live YouTube lag, but okay. we're doing great. I've just beat it, right? Okay, yeah. there you did it. So even even with your uh, with your delay, Kyle, you're still a master at the first level of Spyro. We're gonna do the second uh, level now, though. Okay. The second level. So this is a lot more yeah. challenging. Treetops is actually yeah. really notorious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think Cerny had a, a hand in making this one a little bit difficult to chain well, all Mark, of the... Mark Cerny special? Uh -huh. Okay. Um, yeah, I look forward to seeing this. You're showing two levels here, and it's coming out later this year, right? <laughs> Yes, September yeah. 21st. Oh, wow. Yo, but this is actually awesome. Okay. Both platforms uh, right off the bat. We got to get the Switch version, not yet? Not talking about anything else. Okay. Right now, we're super excited about getting him up and... Yo, this is awesome. Oh, yeah. No, that's, that's fantastic to have it on, on both platforms uh, right, off, uh, right off the bat. And I have to say, like, the the fire and those effects, it's just, you know, I remember it from the 90s. And it's amazing what you guys have done remastering it. Um, and it's, it's all the games, all the levels, right? Yeah. There's a lot of... The went through it all? It went through it all. So 400 characters over 100 levels. It's a big uh, pack for thirty nine ninety nine. I was going to say, lots of content. So flying around here, Boston. Even a little bit of lag. So what are your memories of uh, playing Spyro, Boston? I played a third one. I played uh, Enter the Dragon. That's the third one, yeah? Yeah, and you play... Year of the Dragon. Spyro. Year of the Dragon. Year of the Dragon. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so I played Year of the Dragon. I love it. You're probably are... too young for the original Spyro. I was not too young for the original Spyro. <laughs> How old were you in 1998? Boston? I can't do that math right okay. now. Okay, all right. <laughs> A young 13? boy. I guess I was 13. Yeah, yeah. Perfect age to start playing Spyro, right? Exactly. Yo. Only Mr. and Mrs. Boss will let you. <laughs> Yo, this is I'm awesome. Like I'm playing Metal Gear Solid, man. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I'm a tough boy. Focus, stay focused on Spyro here. Okay. You guess for Spyro, he's talking about Metal Gear. No, I apologize. No, okay. Okay. okay, so I should not have done that. <laughs> it's all right. It's fine. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that either, falling off the ledge. I so. told you it was going to be fine. <laughs> so, 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 so wait, so, do, do these like make, do these boost me? They do. Okay, so I should have. So you got to do a supercharge and okay. then carry that through. All right, all right. Just so that charge you? Here we go. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. And come on, Spyro. There you go, baby. Oh, yeah, boss. Right Yo, that is awesome. Toys for Bob, why did you guys decide to pick this one up? We have a long history with Spyro. Yeah. Obviously, we did the Skylanders games as well. That's right, that's true. With Spyro and Skylanders, yeah. Yes, and so when we took this one, we looked at that as two different characters, and Spyro was obviously a huge inspiration for the Skylander series. It was really great for us to return full circle back to the original source and try to make this a new, fresh experience. The enemies look cool, man. I mean, look at these guys. Yeah. No, I love that it's you know, cartoony and fun and it's super expressive. I think it's like the level animation. Is, uh, you know, there's a lot of personality to it, which, again, like back in the old days, you just didn't have that fidelity to be able to do some of that stuff that you guys are doing. Right. So it's, uh, these are the types of games that we love to make at Toys for Bob. They're yeah. games that don't take themselves too seriously. And like I said, like back in the 90s, that was a golden age of platformers. So it's great to get that kind of resurgence. No, Spyro, no. A little too much. What is my first? <laughs> Got to pull back on it. You're going crazy, Bob. <laughs> and that's great. And this will be, is it playable over at E3 as well? People it check is. Out? I just realized something. And tree tops are be or to maybe the end of the video because okay. we're talking about no, hard. And Boston got the first play. I don't, I don't know if we're going to finish this is the first thing, This is the first time everybody's ever seen video of it. It's just me, like, goofing off. I know. This, oh, this is the reason we don't let YouTubers play games. <laughs> at least pre-release games, right? Well, you're going to make it, Boston. Yeah, I'm high pressure. We'll put the countdown clock. See how you do here. Last shot, Boston. Okay. All right. Looks incredible. Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the mullet. Right. You got it. Go, Kyle. Come on, Boston. So, oh, so you're close. so close. Even if you had made it, that particular jump, you need to chain about three different ones to actually find that. So. No, I'm not going to tell you how to do next that, time, but maybe boss. next time. You're going to need a little bit more practice. Okay. Oh, thank you, Paul. Good one, Paul. This is fun. You're going to love it. All right. Uh, we have just reached the end of our... Oh, oh, oh. guys, that was some awesome gameplay right there. That just gave me the goosebumps right now. But, um... Like I said, um, well, well, what I was going to say is that, um, I was trying to find out, you know, with the health bar to the, um, to Spyro, I was like, where is his health bar? Like, there's a, I know games are supposed to have a health bar, you know, their damage stuff, you know, getting damage or to enemies and something like that. But the health bar is, you know, whenever it sparks with the next, at the end of it, um, when you, like,
when he turned color, like say like yellow, and then he turned green, and then he turned wait, is it green or blue? But it's the different color of when Sparks turning, you know, color. When you get when you get damage, he Sparks turns color. So that's pretty cool. So, anyways, um, make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Comments down below. And I'll see you later.